Hello everyone, thank you for watching this video. So this is another video session and this is on uh, 17th of March on Wednesday. So let me set up everything here uh, real quick. Okay, I hope my face is bright enough. I think this is a bit too dark because I think outside is too bright and because of the contrast inside room looks kind of dark from this camera. But at least, you know I'm talking, it's good, I guess. So let me squeeze my face. Okay, and let me show the, uh, yeah, the screen here. Okay. So, all right, so welcome again to this video session. So this is the 17th of March, and I will talk about two pairs that are trending at the moment. So before starting here, this is just a quick disclaimer, but this information is basically uh, based on my experience knowledge. So when you take trace, please do with your own risk. Okay, so let me go to the charts and I will talk about um, first uh, CAD JPY, CAD JPY, and also um, I will talk about Euro CAD next. And this video is recorded at 12.03 UTC time zone and they are trending now. So first, let me talk about the CAD JPY. The CAD JPY looks to be trending up now. Oops, hold on, let's see. I think the, uh, the screen is a bit off. Let me adjust it real quick. Okay, sorry about that. So, um, yeah, the, so the CAD JPY daily chart, this is daily chart, and this is going up for us now. And earlier I put the analysis as usual today, CAD JPY and EuroCAD. So let me talk about the CAD JPY first. And I put like this, I put the, uh, I wrote Kumo Senko Span A and B up, and Kijun Sen up, Tenkan Sen up, and Chiko Span above the candles. So this is a strong and stable bullish confirmation. Whenever you see this set up by Ichimoku, this is bullish. So in the daily chart, we can see that this is bullish and also after the market broke the forecast lines it's been upgrading and recently because of the new members uh, new subscri subscribers joining on my Ichimoku community and also the live streams um, I have questions about what is forecast lines so let me talk about the forecast lines first real quick because I will talk about these lines on these two pairs today so the forecast lines are drawn whenever the market retrace. So let's say when you see the market marks the high over here from this day 25th of February and it goes backwards. And let me just go forward the chart a bit more. So let's say you see the market like this. You see retracement and you have the pin, you have the wick over here. And from here you draw two lines. One is to Senko span A, another one to Senko span B. And these are the yellow lines. So let me just delete and redo, just for your uh, clarification. You put one of the lines to the wick, of the tip of the wick to the uh, Senko span A, like this. And then another one to Senko span B. So you have two lines and these are called forecast lines. So whenever you see market retracing in the daily chart, you draw these lines and simply you watch charts by these lines. So now you see Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, but Chikou span above the candles. And also the price itself is above Tenkan, Kijun Sen and Kumo here. So this is bullish, but uh, we can be confident more for this bullish momentum if you see the market breaks the forecast lines this way and as time goes on the market broke the forecast lines and it continuously goes up until now like this so whenever you see retracements like this on the daily chart you draw two lines once again one from the weak weak high to the single span E uh, sorry single span B and another one from the weak high to single span A and you get two, the, uh, two of these lines. So previously, 
in the beginning of March, I thought I put the analysis on SCAD JPY. If I scroll back a little bit like this all the way, um, yeah, this one. So this uptrend was based on my analysis from uh, 22nd February. I already drew these forecast lines when there, when there was a retracement and I put here single span everything was up here the kumo was up at that time kijun sen tenkan sen was up and chikou span was bullish too and i was expecting the market break the forecast lines and it goes up this way and if i just forward the charts um, it goes like this until today so the forecast lines are very strong and very uh, significant and powerful in this structure you know, in Ichimoku, um, we don't say predict, we don't say foresee, um, we say forecast. So whenever Goichi Hosoda talk about the market, he used the word forecast. And I'm still trying to find what the right word for uh, in English, but uh, the forecast means the forecasting should be logical and uh, should be should be done logical and uh, objective and rational so um, because we cannot predict which way the market goes uh, the kumo goes up kijun sen tenkan sen goes up and chikou span, chikou span goes up too but it might go backwards from tomorrow or today we never know so instead of trying to predict the future um, Ichimoku recommends us to forecast the future. That means these forecasting should be logical and also in objective, like weather forecast. So these, that's why these are called forecast lines and all these actually, Kumo, Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen, Chikou Span, everything is basically to forecast the market, not to predict the market, which is important concept about Ichimoku. So now, how can we forecast that market from here? So today is the um, 17th of March, and now we have three consecutive doji candles. But I still expect the market goes up, breaks the previous resistance high at this 87.68 because the Kumo's still up, and Kijun's and Tenkan's and up, and Chikou's spun above the candles. However, from tomorrow, let's see the Kumo goes flat and Kijun's and goes flat then the market might be triced backwards to the Tenkan Sen or Kijun Sen. And then what's gonna happen next is that the Chikou Span will be touching with the candles and then finally the market breaks the Kumo downwards and this might become a downtrend afterwards. So, but for now, I don't see any reversal signs on the Ichimoku lines. So that's why I think that it continues to go up and especially we have doji candles right now. Today is still forming, but uh, there are two uh, consecutive uh, small candles and wicks pointing up and downwards. So I expect once it breaks, the previous resistance at this 87.68, it goes very fast because I'm sure there are stop loss orders up above here. So once the market breaks, then that will take the stop losses and the market continues to go up that way. So that's what I'm waiting for this week or today, tomorrow, to happen to follow this uptrend continuously. And also, um, this is about the time cycles, but um, I just made a time cycle on the, on the highs. So if you see these markets on the highs, these are actually exactly in 24 bars in time cycle. This is called Taito Suchi number in Japanese. Taito means equal. Suchi means number in Japanese. And these are called Taito Suchi numbers. Exactly the same number of the candles in between the highs. So that the previous high was made on the 16th of February. So 24 bars to the future is going to be the 19th of March. So uh, the day after tomorrow on the 19th of March, um, it could be uh, the potential end of the high uptrend and it could retrace backwards a little bit like this and then if Kumo Kijun Sen still shows uptrend then the market 
can go upwards still continuously. So that's something that I also um, look for uh, this week and next week. So that's CAD JPY analysis. So let me go to the EuroCAD. Alright, so EuroCAD is downtrending too. And I have the forecast lines here too. And also time cycles. So first of all, uh, we have to look at the bigger picture by these Ichimoku 5 lines. And what do they say is that the, uh, the Senko Span B down, Senko Span A is down, Kijun Sen down, Tenkan Sen down, and Chiko Span below the candles. So same thing, this is downtrending too. And in this condition, you never look for buy chance. We only have to look for the sell chance because this is downtrending on these all lines. And then the market broke the forecast lines a couple of days ago. So the retracement was here on this day, 9th of March. The market retraced two days and then it broke the forecast lines downwards. And now this is continuously downtrending. So that actually confirms me, adds me more confirmations to sell on this market. So I expect the market go down continuously. And also, speaking of the time cycles, the highs are in Kihon Suchi numbers. The high from uh, 26 February until the 10th of March is nine bars in between the highs, so that the next high can be marked on the 22nd of March. So it could go up or range until the 22nd of March. And if Kumo and Kijun Sen still showing bearish, then the market should go down continuously like this way. So I would either look for the sell chance right now or wait until 22nd, 23rd or next week uh, to look for the sell chance on this particular market. And I put the analysis on this EuroCAD downtrending by Ichimoku time cycles on this um, trading view. So you can uh, also watch, you can also read my analysis over here too. Okay, so yeah, I am a Forex trader. I'm a uh, Forex full time trader. Full time meaning uh, the Forex trading is my main source of income. And uh, I do teachings, I do, I run community, but I am at, at, at the same time, I am, I have been a Forex trader full time. So, um, and I always look for a trending market. I will always, always be on the trending market and I will never trade, take trades in the ranging market. So the key is the time efficiency and hopefully uh, you can learn how to be time efficient uh, when you take trades to break even to run profit. So, oh yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please press a good button. And last one quick announcement is that the uh, GTS, this is my hands-on um, mentoring uh, teaching, uh, GTS Global Trading School, upcoming uh, April is all full session. So thank you for, jo for those who have been joining on this April session. I will teach you exactly my strategy in psychology and risk management skills. And the next one coming up is in July. So if you're interested, please write me an email, contact me through the contact form or below link. And uh, please let me know if you're interested to join in July. So I hope to see you on the next one. And until then, please Stay healthy, stay safe, and stay gold. Bye for now. Mata ne. Thank you.